In this video, we will discuss electrical requirements of electric sauna heaters. After this video, you will understand the important things to look at from the electrical perspective before buying your sauna heater. We sell a lot of electric sauna heaters and sometimes customers simply just buy the heater with no consultation from their electrician or us. This can lead to a common problem, which is that your electrical infrastructure can support your new sauna heater. We will discuss this subject from the perspective of the US as that's our main market. However, as a general knowledge, this video can give you some idea on electrical work and wiring of a sauna, even if you live outside of the US. My name is Veti. I'm a Finnish sauna expert and founder of the saunaheater.com, saunaconsultation.com and the saunasociety.com. Since starting my businesses in 2022, I have directly helped over 3000 US based sauna builders make their sauna dreams come true. Let's get Get to it. This video will be divided into following three sections. Firstly, we will discuss voltages and phase. Secondly, we will discuss about required amperages, circuit breakers, wire sizes and kilowatt ratings of sauna heaters. In the third and last part, we will take a brief overview of system wiring when it comes to standard electric sauna heaters. Section 1 voltage and phase. In the US, we typically have three different types of voltage and phase combinations, out of which two are really available. The most common voltage phase combination that almost all electric sauna heaters require is 240 volt one phase. Some sauna heaters that have commercial configurations are offered at 208 volts three phase power to fit into the electrical infrastructure that commercial buildings utilize. There have been some 120 volt one phase sauna heaters in the past, but these are basically not available anymore or produced at all. Okay, let's go through the questions that this above information has brought up in your mind. Firstly, why do electric sauna heaters mainly operate with 240 volts? In most Western countries such as the US, the electricity is delivered to homes through 120 volt electrical lines. Combining two 120 volt lines together achieves the 240 volt that high power electrical appliances utilize. So why don't electric sauna heaters use only one 120 volt line, which would make them 120 volt appliances and thus easier for you to wire. All electric sauna heaters require a significant amount of power even the smallest ones designed for one to two person saunas. In residential wiring, the current in circuits is capped for safety reasons. Using a single circuit with just one 120 volt line would not provide enough power for a sauna heater to heat effectively. Second question, can a 240 volt one phase sauna heater be wired to a commercial building which has only 208 volt system available? The answer is yes. You can wire a 240 volt one phase electric sauna heater for a commercial building that has 208 volts by using just two hot wires. So the L1 and L2 for the more tech savvy of you watching from the 208 volt free phase system. This reduces the sauna heater's power output by 25%, which you need to account for when sizing your sauna heater. Third question, how do you find the electrical information on a specific sauna heater to know what power it requires? Okay, so when you come to our site, you can go to electric sauna heaters. That's directly on our homepage. Then you can scroll down and if you pick, let's say, who steal mini from here, you can already see that it requires 240 volts and with 240 volts it's always a one phase. Uh, further, when you scroll down you can see it on the title that it requires 240 volts uh, one phase and in specifications you can also see that it's 240 volts uh, single amperage. Then when we have these sauna heaters that also have the commercial configuration available, let's say we have the Harvia Club which is a legendary commercial sauna heater. So when you find that heater from our site, uh, let's search for Harvia Club. Then we have a club here, for example, K12.5G. So you can see that you have a drop down menu where you can select whether you want 240 volt one phase or 208 volt three phase configuration for this heater. So that's how you can select it from here. Let's move into section two, in which we will discuss amperages, circuit breakers, wire sizes, and kilowatt ratings when it comes to sauna heaters. Each electric sauna heater has its own kilowatt rating. Based on that kilowatt rating, each electric sauna heater has its own amperage 
circuit breaker and wire size requirements. These requirements are not based on the brand of the electric sauna heater, but on the size of the heater itself. These requirements can cause problems as some households are constrained by the capability of their electrical infrastructure, meaning not all houses have power available in abundance. Typically newer houses are less likely to be constrained by their electrical network compared to older ones. The bigger the electric sauna heater, the more power it requires. The bigger the sauna, the bigger the heater you need. The size of your sauna heater is measured as kilowatt or KW number that can be found from the name of the heater. So to make all of this actionable for a sauna builder, firstly, calculate the size of your sauna. Secondly, calculate the sauna heater size based on the size of your sauna. We teach you how to do the mentioned steps 1 and 2 in our sauna heater sizing video linked in the description. Next step is to go and look what are the amperage and circuit breaker requirements for a sauna heater that is correctly sized for your sauna. Ask your electrician if electric sauna heater with these specifics can be actually installed thought to your house. If it can, move ahead and start the sauna build. If your electrical infrastructure can't accommodate the heater, you either have to make your sauna smaller or make your electrical infrastructure more capable. Or as a wild card, get a wood fire or gas powered sauna heater instead of an electric one. So then when you find the sauna heater that you like and you want to find all the other important electrical information, you just scroll down on the page, then you press specifications. You can see here all the electrical information information. So voltage phase. So this means that this heater is available in 240 volt one phase or 208 volt three phase. But then we can see here that when you wire with 240 volts a single phase amperage, the heater requires 57.2 amps and that should come from two different circuits. Or if you wire with 208 volt three phase, the heater requires 34.1 um, so that's what you can see right here. When it comes to the wire sizes, you can go to manuals, you uh, press installation operations manual, and you can find all the rest of the electrical information from this installation and uh, operations manual. Also, when you come to any heater page, electric sound heater page, you can scroll down and you find this setting up section. And when you open the electrical requirements, you will see everything directly here in one place. So here you can see that 240 volt one phase requires 60 amp breaker and wire sizes 4 and 6 AWG. So that's how you can find the electrical information. And let's take a look at some other model. So let's go to Hoom Hive as an example shake. Hoom sauna heaters are always 240 volts one phase. You can see again here uh, directly on the title on our side that it's 240 volts. You can wire this with 208 volts one phase, but that will reduce the power output by 25%. So please take that into account. Then when you again scroll down, you see electrical requirements. You will see all the electrical requirements right here. Or then you can see them when you go to specifications and you look, it's 240 volt single amperage, 50 amps. Circuit breaker, you need 30 plus 30, so 230 amp circuit breakers and wire sizes for these circuit breakers are 10 for both. Also, if you want, you can go to manuals, installations and operations manual and scroll down and you will see all the electrical information in this table. So this first table is when wired with 240 volts one phase and the second table is when wired with 208 volts one phase. So that's how you look at it from the home sauna heaters. And it's very similar in all sauna heaters found from the saunaheater.com. Section three, brief overview of system wiring. System wiring is completely dependent on the specific model and brand of your sauna heater. Sauna heaters come with wiring diagrams and instructions your electrician will use to wire your sauna. However, we will take a brief look at the wiring diagram of the standard home sauna system and a standard Harvia sauna system right now. Okay, so now we will take a look at some wiring diagrams. So this is not a wiring advice. Uh, please take that advice from your electrician or call us if you purchased your heater from us and we will help you out. Our real technical experts will help you out, not our YouTube manager <laughs> or whatever I want to call myself. But here you can see home's wiring diagram. If we take a brief look, this ground wire goes from your electrical panel to the ground connection. Then we have 120 volt lines from your electrical panels. So here we have L1 and L2, which make it 240 volts. So then these L1 and L2 lines go to L1 and L2 right there. Otherwise we have the wires V and U here. 
next to wires L1 and L2 that go to the sauna heater itself. So this presents the connections on the bottom of the sauna heater. So that's how Hoom's wiring works. Just to give you a quick note about wiring Hoom system or basically any system that has external control panel is that you wire from your electrical panel to something called main module. So this one represents the main module right here. From the main module, you wire to your sauna heater. This one represents the sauna heater. Then from main module, you wire to the control panel. Then you can wire to your uh, temperature sensor, to your lights if you want to, and uh, all of these things listed right here. So this main module acts as a brain of your sauna heater system. So that's how systems with external control panels work in general. Then when it comes to wiring a system like Harvia KIP that has integrated control knobs on the bottom of the sauna heater, then it's a little bit more simple. So here we have an illustration for that. This is electrical panel. Once again, just a little bit different uh, presentation style. We have a ground wire going from the electrical panel to the ground that is on the bottom of the heater typically. And then we have 120 volt lines from your electrical panel. So this uh, red and black line, 120 volt lines making the 240 volt go on the bottom of the sauna heater. Then note, circuit breaker we talked about earlier is always located inside the electrical panel itself. So that's everything about these presentations. Thank you. That's all I have to say about electrical requirements. If you want to learn more about sauna building, check out one of these two videos next.